Hey guys, I'm Jelly Bean here. Today I'm gonna be talking about being black and introverted at the same time. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the stupidest thing that I've heard because I'm introverted. Stupidest thing that I have heard is that someone thought I was gay. I mean, I, I don't see the correlation between sexuality and being quiet. I guess had I been non-black, it wouldn't have been an issue, but that just annoyed me considering I'm not gay, I'm straight. So I was just annoyed because that doesn't even correlate. That doesn't even, that doesn't even make sense. But I guess because it's so mind boggling to see a black person who doesn't talk much, I guess it just like, messes up people's minds they don't know what to think i don't know uh, it's weird and it's because of that that i've heard why don't you act like other black girls i heard that statement too many times in my lifetime and i'm just like well, i'm pretty sure variety is the spice of life i'm pretty sure that's what the saying is so i don't know what people's problem is and usually when people ask that question, they're basically asking like, why aren't I as loud or like outspoken or ghetto like the others? And I'm, I usually have a, like a, a confused face cause I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Like, like not all black people are the same and not all black people should be labeled as ghetto just because they're loud and act a certain way. There are some ghetto people out there, but <laughs> I'm just saying, like, we don't all have to be the same way. So that also annoys me because I'm just like, what, you expected a stereotypical black person? Well, sorry to disappoint you. I'm not one of them. But um, <laughs> those questions, I get them from both black people and non-black people. So it's like when the non-black people ask, like, why do I act differently? Then it's like awkward because it's almost like they view the other black people as too wild or whatever. But like, I'm like someone, I'm like, I'm like that one black person that is considered white, I guess. And it's just like, okay. This is weird. And then when black people ask, they're insinuating that like, I'm not black enough or anything. I'm just like, I'm pretty sure your skin color is what defines you being black, but whatever. And then I don't really mind when someone non-black, I don't mind as much when someone non-black asks me why I don't act like the stereotypical black person but it's when the black people ask that annoy me because like i mentioned earlier it's like they think you're not black enough or you're trying to be better than them just because you don't act the same way or talk the same way and that's also a reason why i I've, I've never really fit in like with the black people at school um not college but like uh elementary middle and high school um it was really bad in elementary school story time so back in elementary school there was like eight of us eight of like the black kids in my grade including myself um that's like a rough number and uh the black kids they were like you know close-knit and they hung out hang around with each other but i don't know why i have a pretty good idea but like they never like treated me nicely like there was this one girl i swear to you she thought she was all that just because her hair was relaxed and was down her back she really thought she was it okay in the grade she was it because she was <laughs> she was popular but um I don't care if she's popular, but she doesn't have to be rude. And um, like sometimes, I remember one time in gym class, I was going to like put my stuff in the cubbies and she was also there. And I was just like, you know, being myself 
I didn't even say anything to her and she was like, stop. And I was like, I'm soft-spoken, so I didn't know what she was saying, what she was talking about, like, stop what? So I just complied and was like, okay, weirdo. But <laughs> I, I don't, I'm guessing, I'm going to say, no, it is what it is. I'm going to say that she just didn't like me because of whatever. And then the other black kids were also like passively rude to me. Actually, no, this one dude wasn't passively. He would yell at me for no reason. And this other guy asked me, why don't I talk the same way as them? Like, I don't have the, you know, same slang or uh, lingo. Like, instead of saying ain't, I would say is not or whatever, like whatever the proper grammar is. I don't say the word ain't because it doesn't feel right <laughs> for one thing. I do remember trying to fit in and trying to talk like them for a couple days and that was enough for me. So because I didn't go to the same church as them because I'm Catholic, they were like Protestant. I think they went to the Baptist church. So because I was Catholic and our families didn't know each other and I wasn't being loud and disruptive in class like they were and because I didn't talk the same like them, I guess they thought it was okay to treat me like crap. And <laughs> I didn't really like when I was that age, I didn't really notice, but I'm pretty sure it's because I wasn't black enough for them. But it's cool. So middle and high school, I didn't have the same types of issues. I switched schools, so I wasn't in the same area. So those people were way nicer to where I went to middle and high school at. And they accepted me. Um, for what my personality was. And the only thing that I was asked like was, why don't I play sports? Or like, why aren't I good in sports? Because a lot of black people, as you know, are very athletic, very good in basketball, and just athletic in general. And I suck. <laughs> I've always stuck in gym class ever since elementary school. Um, I just can't do it. I don't like to exercise. I don't like playing competitive games um, that require physical strength like dodgeball. Um, I was good at dodging though. I never really got hit to be honest. And most people didn't want to hit me anyways because I wasn't easy target, I think. I think that's why they didn't hit me. <laughs> And I was always the last one in the mile run. Um, and I did play softball one semester or one season, but that was the end of that. I started managing softball for the next couple years instead of playing because <laughs> I can't, I couldn't, I, I'm just not good. Like I would get hit frequently with the ball because I have no hand-eye coordination whatsoever. But to make up for this lack in like uh, athleticism, I excelled in the academic side, which is also a little uh, uncommon within the black community to be focused on academics rather than sports because a lot of, a lot of black people do um, go to like college on a sports scholarship, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that um, I was not one of them. So it, it is a little like rare. Um, and the reasons I didn't play sports wasn't because, it was because I sucked at them, but it's because I just wanted to avoid human interaction as much as possible. Um, Cause sports requires you to like, you know, talk to your teammates and you know, if you mess up, they might be like a little upset with you and I don't like when people are upset with me because I don't know how to talk well, have a conversation. I don't like to talk about like any tension because it makes me feel uncomfortable. But um, yeah, so, but I was good on the academic side. Um, that's really what 
I was known for in school, in elementary school, those kids that I just talked to about, uh, they only talked to me to get like homework answers or test answers. That's when I was useful or that's when they wanted to acknowledge that I was even alive. So I guess it pays to be smart or whatever. <laughs> and then when I, when I got to college, um, I go to an HBCU, so uh, there's a lot of parties, seems like there's one every week, and I would frequently be asked, why don't I go to a party? I don't know how many times I have been asked this, but I'm sick of it, because I'm just like, why don't you stay in your room once in a while, huh? Why don't you stay in and just watch you know, TV and just, you know, take time to yourself. Why do I gotta go to a college party? I will go when I'm ready. I don't even wanna go because people are, are gonna be dancing and there's gonna be a lot of people. I'm just like, hmm, I don't think so. <laughs> like, I can't, like, no, I, I wouldn't know what to do because I don't dance in front of people anyways. And, uh, probably the songs they're listening to, I'm not gonna know them because I don't really know, I don't keep up with popular songs. I'll, I'll hear a few, but I listen to songs that I like and they may not be popular. I do have a wide variety of songs, like a wide, I listen to various genres, which I talked about in one of my videos, um, in my emo video. I don't just listen to like, black people music. I listen to, you know, emo as well, emo type music and classical music and like 80s music, whatever is floating my boat, whatever my mood is like. So that's really the question that I get in college because a lot of people do go to parties and we're all black. It's just that I'm just one of the ones that doesn't like to go out and socialize because I'm yeah, I just, I can't do it. I, but that's just some of the things that I have experienced and things that I've heard because I'm black and introverted and, you know, sort of different than the average black person. So yeah, so if you've experienced any of these or heard any of these that I've talked about, you can comment in the comments below. And yeah, so nice talking to you guys. Have an awesome day.